coach at Smart's Madness at its best, 89-80 here. Got us a great start, led by as many as 14 in the first half. They came back in a second. There were six lead changes in the second half, but down the stretch, you guys made a lot of plays. Well, it's been my experience through 30-something years that conference tournament games, there's no blowouts. That, that never happens. They're all close. They're all gut-wrenching. They're, you get all sweaty. They're tense. Uh, this game tonight was no different. Uh, very competitive game. Uh, all three games that we played against them have been have gone a lot alike. Uh, very competitive, high scoring, all three of them. Both teams having trouble stopping the other team. Great individual performances offensively. Uh, somebody's going to make a few stops late in the game to try to get a win. That happened to be us tonight. Down the stretch, Travis Munnings has played awfully well the last 10 ball games. Another double double tonight. He's a senior who's kind of embraced that moment and he's playing, he's laying it all out there every night. Travis played real well the last three weeks, I thought. You know, he's kind of settled into who he is and who we need him to be. And because of that, he's more comfortable out on the floor. Really is. And uh, I thought he played great tonight. And, uh, you know, it wasn't just the points, it was the rebounds. He had some assists, passing the ball out of the post for layup. He had no turnovers, double-double. Uh, uh, you know, maybe maybe his best game of the year. 13 and two, and two at home now. And like so many of the games so far this season, at home, you're able to spread the floor late. Some nights it's Deshaun Smith taking the ball to the rim. Tonight, Michael Ertl made a lot of plays in the open floor. Well, especially when we uh, got the lead, a little bit of a lead even, you know, and and uh, and that's why those two guys made all conference, to be honest with you, is that they can both take you off the dribble. They're both good three-point shooters, shoot a good percentage. Uh, and so their ability to play some one-on-one -on -one stuff is something that uh, is good for us. Uh, at times, and uh, you know, as you saw, Mike tonight got it going there late, and, and uh, helped to stretch it out. Offensive rebounding was key too in the second half. We got some big ones. We did, uh, and uh, you know, again, Tyree White, you know, helped us there. Travis was all over the board, really and truly, and and uh, I think we kicked out and hit a couple threes off offensive rebounds. I know Deshaun got one, a big one, off an offensive rebound. So we don't get a ton, but but when we get some. It's good to get them. And I'm sure your team's looking forward to an opportunity to get back at Coastal Carolina after they swept the regular season series. They are. You know, uh, this is, uh, they've been a tough matchup for us. You know, we, we got to be honest about that. They have been for two games. Uh, but anything can happen in these tournaments. And, and, uh, and we got to go back and look and see if we can't change a little something. Be a little different, maybe. Uh, not wholesale, but, but uh, do a little something, tweak something here or there to see if we can't bother them better than we have because I know our guys want to win bad and they're going to play really hard. Got off a great start. They battled back in the second half. There were four lead changes real quick there. Then you guys retained the lead down the stretch. Talk about the way your team responded with the game on the line. Yeah, um, we played with a sense of urgency. I think the last 10 minutes of the game, I think we went on like a 6-0 run with me hitting the three and I think Mike Ertel of Tyree uh, hitting the three. So that gave us a little jump, got the crowd pumped up, and we came out and finished it off. Talk about the play Travis Munnies. Her last 10 games or so, he's really played awfully well. Another double double tonight. But he's, it's obviously he's a senior that's playing and kind of enjoying that moment. Yeah, definitely. Travis Munnies, like I said in one of the interviews, uh, is a guy that we need. Uh, we need him to pick it up at a time like this, and we want to go far in the tournament. And it's a great thing that we have Travis Munnies on our team. He was an All Conference guy the last three years, and we look forward to him being a big piece and us going for it and North. Close out the game again tonight, like you have so many times this year with the spread. Floor situation. Sometimes you're scoring at the rim. Tonight it was Michael Ertl's turn. Yeah, definitely. I love playing aside uh, Mike Ertl. He's a great guard. Uh, some nights when I'm not on, he's on. Well, almost every night he's on. So that's a great guy who, uh, who's only a sophomore, and I look forward to him doing great things and taking us to the NCAA tournament. I know what a competitor you are. You got another rematch now with Coastal Carolina. They swept the regular season series. Talk about that matchup. Yeah, definitely a matchup we're looking forward to. Um, they got guys who came in here and played well, both here and at their spot. Uh, I think those guys might be a little comfortable, so we're going to come on the road and do what we need to do to close it out the season. Well, hard fought battle tonight, opening round game of the uh, Sun Belt uh, tournament. Got off to a great start. App came back in the second half, and there were four lead changes. You guys responded every time they made a run, but then you guys closed it out there at the end. Talk about the composure you guys showed down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, App State did a great job fighting. You know, they are fighting for their lives. We, we both were, and, you know, they made it really tough for us. There's no easy games in the Sun Belt, you know, and then we were just able to, to get some stuff on offense, make, make some big shots, and eventually late we made, got, got some stops. I know you respect uh, Travis Money's a great deal. He's really played well the last 10 ball games of the year. Had a double-double here tonight. 
when you look at him as a senior, you can see he's a guy that he doesn't want this season to end. Yeah, definitely not. I mean, Travis has played, played great tonight. Um, he's been a great player for us. He's a kind of a steady guy who never gets rattled. And, um, yeah, I mean, he, he was great tonight, and we're going to need him to be great in, in um, Thursday. The team has been awfully good at home, 13-2 and two now on the season here in the Fant Ewing Coliseum. You guys, when you spread the floor late, you're awfully hard to guard. Some nights it's Deshaun handling the ball. Tonight you were the guy who kind of closed it out and made a lot of plays there at the rim. Talk about being put in that situation. Yeah, I mean, it was they were, we were able to spread the floor out, just like you said, and I was trying to get in there all game and drive it, but they did a good job helping. But um, late they kind of spread it out a little bit, and I was able to, to go by my guy and, and get to the rim. During the regular season, Coastal Carolina kind of had your number, took both games. Uh, talk about this matchup. Yeah, we struggled in our in the two games versus Coastal. We struggled pretty mightily. And, uh, you know, we're, we're looking forward to that game. Um, you know, Coastal, they have a great team, obviously. And, um, you know, I'm sure they've been preparing for us all week. So, so we're, we're looking forward to that game.